Another day, another story. Going back to the drawing board, embracing failure as a path to success. Failure is an inevitable part of life, and yet it is often viewed as a negative experience to be avoided at all costs. We are taught from a young age to strive for success, to always aim for the top, and to never settle for anything less. However, what if we shift our perspective and view failure as a necessary step towards success? What if we embrace failure as an opportunity to learn, grow, and improve? Going back to the drawing board is a phrase that means starting over or going back to the beginning. It is often used when something has failed, and a new approach is needed. This concept can be applied to many areas of life, from personal relationships to business ventures. The key is to view failure not as a setback, but as an opportunity to learn and grow. When we fail, it can be tempting to give up and move on to something else. However, this mindset is limiting and can prevent us from achieving our full potential. Instead, we can choose to go back to the drawing board and approach the situation from a new perspective. By doing so, we can identify what went wrong, learn from our mistakes, and develop a new strategy for success. In business, going back to the drawing board is often necessary to create innovative solutions to complex problems. Many of the world's most successful companies have faced setbacks and failures, but it was their ability to learn from these experiences and adapt that allowed them to thrive. For example, Apple's initial foray into the smartphone market with the iPhone was met with criticism and skepticism, but the company went back to the drawing board and refined their approach, resulting in the wildly successful product we know today. Going back to the drawing board can also be applied to personal relationships. When a relationship fails, it can be easy to give up and move on to the next one. However, this approach does not allow for growth and self-reflection. By going back to the drawing board, we can identify what went wrong in the relationship, learn from our mistakes, and develop a new approach that is more likely to result in success. In addition to personal and professional growth, embracing failure and going back to the drawing board can also lead to greater creativity and innovation. When we are willing to take risks and try new things, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. By experimenting with different approaches and ideas, we can discover new solutions to old problems and create something truly innovative. In conclusion, going back to the drawing board is not a sign of failure, but rather an opportunity for growth and improvement. By embracing failure as a necessary step towards success, we can develop a mindset that is more resilient, creative, and innovative. Whether in business or in our personal lives, the ability to learn from our mistakes and adapt to new situations is a key component of success. So the next time you face a setback or failure, don't be afraid to go back to the drawing board and start anew.